Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to insert image into MySQL database using C Sharp and Visual Studio 2022. So let's start. First, we will create a new project. So create new project. We'll select window form save and click next. Here we will give our project name. I'll name this insert image MySQL. Enter to create the project. So to connect to MySQL, we need a reference. So for that, we will come here to this project. Right click on this and we will go to the manage new get packages. It is in the install tab. We will go to this browse tab and here we search for MySQL dot data at enter. Now this first one will install this, accept. And now you can see it is installed like green tech show with it. And if I go to the install tab, you can see here it is available right here now i'll close this now i'll drag in a picture box here i'll add in a button to it and i'll copy and paste this button both the button are created so now i'll change the text on this button so for the first i'll use browse and for the second one i'll use save now i'll double click on this browse button to create its click event so this is its click event so with this we will browse images from our computer so i'll use open file dialog file dialog equals new open file dialog and i'll put semicolon so our file dialog is created so we will add some filter to it so i'll use a file dialog dot filter and i'll pass in a string here so that it, it only browse for images we'll paste it right here and i'll put semicolon at the end so now it will only open our search for jpg jpeg and png and bmp files now i will use f file dialog dot show dialog equals equals dialog result dot ok so do what so get the name the file path so picture box one dot image equals file dialog dot file name semicolon and we will change this to bitmap if i run this right now so it is running so if i click on this browse button so it is browsing and now if i go to download and select this image and click open so now you can see image is shown in this picture box now when we click on the save button it will take this uh, picture from here and save it in the database so first we will create a table and a database so for that i'll close this and come here click on this mysql workbench and here i'll give in my password so now our workbench is open so i'll create a database a new database here so i'll name this images db and now i'll click apply to create the database finish now our images db is created so i'll right click on this table create table and i'll name this uh stable if i expand this that we can show everything i'll name this images small images table and now i'll add in some column here so the first column will be id of type int primary key and auto increment and now we will go to second so the second one will be image and uh, it will be type will be long block and now we will apply i'll make this primary key remove this and now i'll apply this apply and finish so our table is created if i show you here images table the images spell is incorrect so make sure we use this one images table so now i'll again go to visual studio and here we will go to form under design dot cs and i'll double click on this sub button and it will create the click event of this button so now here we are now we will create a connection so my sql connection con equals new my is ql connection and it takes a connection string so we will create the connection string here so string con string equals um here we will use double quotes and it takes a server name so server equals local host semicolon then is it takes the db name so data base images db we forget equals sign remove the spaces and now i'll put semicolon then it takes the user database user so user you are using the root user so root semicolon and then take password p and now i'll put semicolon at there now i'll pass in this connection string here now here we will, we will open the connection and then we will create our mysql command for our query what is our table name images table image values at and now i'll put semicolon at the end now i will create our uh, mysql command so mysql 
command cmd equals new mysql command and it takes the query so i will give it the query as well as the connection now I'll put semicolon so now we will get the image from picture box and we will change it to streams so here we will create a byte array byte image data and here we will create memory stream ms equals new memory stream we'll close this and here i'll use picture box one dot image dot save and here i will pass in ms comma and uh, picture box one dot image dot raw format and i'll put semicolon now we will change this uh, uh, stream into a byte array so for that i'll use image data equals ms dot two array and now i'll put semicolon here so now our image data is uh, created so now we will execute our query so cmd dot parameters dot add with value we will pass in the parameters so the parameter is at image so i'll use here yeah, at the red uh, image and then i'll use um image data and now i'll put semicolon and here we will use cmd dot execute non query and uh, semicolon and then we will use message box dot show and here i'll pass in image saved successfully and now put semicolon at the end and we will close the connection on dot close put semicolon now let's run it and let's check if it is working so now i'll start this before inserting let me show you that we have zero records in the table so id and image now if i go here browse this i'll select this first one open and now if i save this so it is showing an error for connection string is incorrect so local host database nine images db and then we have uh, if i stop this uh, user is root so we have used triple o which is incorrect we have only two o's in root browse select image open save image saved successfully if i now go to here and select the 1000 rows so you can see one value is added now if i again go browse second one open and uh, if i click save so this one is also added i will add in another one browse and i will open the third one and if i save this okay now if i go and refresh this so now you can see we have added three records so in this way you can insert images into my scale database using c sharp and visual studio 2022 so in the next video we will be retrieving these images and showing it show it in a picture box so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you